face. What? The time is now disclosure. Blake Cousins, third phase of moon, going over three reports. Just in, we're gonna go to Mars, Southern California, also NASA. Breaking news right here, the UK has something to say. Stay tuned for that, but right now we're looking at photographs directly from NASA. What are we looking at? Pompeii all over again. Do you see it? We got Brett Cousins here. We're gonna go over this photograph along with more evidence just since the third phase of moon. Hang on people, things are about to get downright weird. Blake, I do see it. And I hope everybody else sees it too. Two petrified bodies on the surface of Mars. Pompeii does come to mind and they are very similar. This does represent something that's happened on Earth that could have happened on Mars. How far does this go? This does represent a picture of time frozen. Frozen in time by NASA themselves. The photograph and the links below there, Brent, so everybody can take a look at that. That's what I love about this submission. Uh, people are sharing this all over the internet right now. Brent, I want to point this out to you. Nobody noticed this spheric rock. Is it a rock? This footage came into third phase of the moon and it's all speculation, Blake. Let's do what we do. We have to do it. Let's speculate and let everybody else do that at the same time. Imagine this new technology that you just pointed out here. It seems to be an apparatus spheric ball. It doesn't match what's going on on the ground of Mars around this environment. You're right, Brian. It's as if the two bodies are shielding themselves from the sphere, like it was some kind of possible explosion. Just like Pompeii, we see humanity. We see it frozen in time for thousands of years. The question is what's on Mars right now, ready to grasp, and it's so far away from us. We need to get closer. We need to touch it, grab it, hold it, and share it to the world. This could be possible Martian brothers, like I keep saying, Blake, there is a sense of another world that once existed and disappeared. Let's hope this is not the case for Earth. There is a sense going on around the world right now of possible big events, September, for let's just say that. What's going down, guys? Wow, Brent, you mentioned uh, the September thing. It's been kind of going rampant on the internet and we've been getting a lot of contacts to uh, say the least. Apparently September 23rd, 2015, something's going to go down. If anybody has any thoughts on what that could be about, their inkling, their insight, any inside information, share it with us right here at Third Phase Moon. Let's get to the next video. As that was said, um, this is quite interesting. California. This happens all the time, Brent. Nick Vaz testing his LG4 camera for the first time. And two weeks later, he notices after going over his photographs, he captures this of what looks to be some kind of unidentified flying object with two thruster boosts, jet engines, unidentified military in my opinion. Norwalk, California. Big sightings have been going on over there. It's been special because we've been hearing it over the past year. Military? I don't think so. This looks something different. It's not your typical aircraft that we've seen. They're obviously suppressing evidence. We're probably 60 years behind what the government's giving us, and this could be a possible outlet to what's out there. Right. The first thing that comes to mind is reverse engineered technology that had captured. Thanks, Nick, for sharing. Now let's get back to the next uh, 
information at hand. As I said earlier, the UK. Now listen to this. Where do you go if you spot a UFO in the United Kingdom? It's not uh, accepted by the government. Nobody's taking reports over there as of right now, 24 hours breaking news. Where do you go? We got the answer for you right now. Years have been going by. New technology, the internet, has been spreading the world around on UFOs. There is a community building, gathering, growing, and it's growing strong. We need to stay strong right here at Third Phase of Moon, and I know everybody else out there knows the right source to go to. MUFON's drop the ball. Third. Dropping the ball right, Brent. Exactly. That's what I've been saying all along. Everybody, keep your eyes on the skies. We're not alone, people. If you've captured anything amazing, submit it to us via Skype, Facebook. Contact us on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to thumbs up. This is Blake Cousins. We'll see everybody again next time.